Hi, it's Carrie. I'm going to show you how to set up your documentation for a literature search. Now, this isn't necessarily a systematic review literature search, but you could adapt it for your needs. It's pretty simple. This is how I do it to start. I have a blank Word document. So I start with a blank Word document, and then I might make some notes up here. Leave yourself some room to make some notes. So just a placeholder. And then I'm going to insert a table. My table is going to be at least three columns, four rows. So up here, I'm going to say, this is the PubMed search and I'm searching PubMed on PubMed, basically through NCBI. And then I'm going to say search number one. You could just write one or one. And then here's your terms, control vocabulary and keyword terms. That's your number of results. Okay, and then we're going to do number two. Here's your terms. That's your number of results. Number three is going to be search number one and search number two. And there's your number of results. Now it might get a whole lot more complicated than this, but here's the basics. Sometimes I like to put in a little note to myself and say, this is my pressure ulcer concept. This is my patient positioning concept. And I also like to grab that top line and merge cells and then maybe make it into a header. This is how documents stay nice and neat and also accessible for screen readers. Now you might have more than three concepts. That's fine. You might continue going on and on and on. And then if you like that and it worked out for you, make sure it's adapted to suit your needs. So the bulk of your content is going to be here in your terms. You're going to copy that and you're going to paste it. This time we're doing Embase and we're doing Embase on the Elsevier platform. So whatever you've done up here, you're going to make it work for Embase. That's probably going to be substituting mesh terms with mtree terms and checking the syntax. Now, if that worked for you and you're going to search a couple more, you can do that. So we could say CINAHL plus on the EBSCO platform. We're going to take the same search we have already done. We're going to put it in the syntax that is readable by CINAHL, and we're going to keep track of it here. Now, why did I save space at the top? Because ideally you're going to run your searches on a specific date, and so you might just make a note to yourself, searches run on January 5th, 2024. Any other notes you need to know, like limits to English, uh, peer-reviewed articles, any of that, make sure it's documented so that it is fully reproducible. And that, my friends, is how I create literature review documentation in Word. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.